Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video, and in this one, I am painting on a canvas for the first time in years. I believe it's been nine years since I've painted on a canvas, so that's fun. And of course, I decided to jump in with a nice big, I believe it's 60 by 40, straight up, um, no qualms, no questions. I actually watched a few videos on how I'm supposed to set my canvas up about these stretcher bars. So I wasn't quite sure what I should do with them, but um, there are so many really, really, really informative videos online. Um, so yeah, I can just hammer it in from there if I have a need. Um, now this was a triple primed canvas. But I had some just so, and I really wanted to play with it to see it anyway. So this is the Liquitex gesso. Um, I just wanted to see what it would do on this canvas um, to see how it makes it different. Um, and I kind of like it. It gives a bit more of a, like, a smoothness, if that is something that you are after. Uh, but I think the canvas is also fine and on its own to paint. Um, I did struggle with camera angles for this one, being such a large uh, painting. Uh, I wasn't quite sure how, so you get a bit of an odd angle to start with while I'm figuring things out. Um, and I just wanted to do a nice, bright, warm color as the undertone. It's one thing that I picked up when I was in school, was to always do tone your canvas or paint it or do something with it so that it is completely covered and if when you're painting anything there's any gaps or whatever it's not uh white showing through um my teacher drilled that into my head i don't know how other people feel about that but he absolutely hated white so it was just drilled into us that do whatever you have to do to prevent there from being any white showing um I've changed the camera angle uh, to try. I think this one's better if I knew where the camera was. But so I've got different acrylic paints here, different brands, I should say. Um, and this is sort of a video of mine has recently come out where I brought a whole bunch of new acrylic paint. Um, this I actually painted before that video. And this is kind of like why I was getting into it. Um, I've actually since done another painting that I am in the process of. It's not finished with the new paints. And it's quite interesting. I'm learning about different textures or different finishes. These paints finish very matte. Uh, so that's the whole croft that was in one of my earlier videos. And some Joe Sonia, which I believe was my mother's paint that I am working with. And it still works really, really well. Um, so they leave a real matte finish. So it's very, very flat. Um, but the Reeves paint that I have since bought is a very shiny finish. Um, and that's something that I was vaguely aware of, but I hadn't really seen it in person. Uh, and my latest painting is a mix of both paints. And so I have these very, very shiny leaves and these very, very matte oranges. And it's kind of funny. I kind of, I like it in a way. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm working with a lot of a lot of different shapes, um, and I have the tape down, but I'm not, as you can see, I'm very thick with my paint. I'm heavy-handed, and so bits and pieces did break confinement on where they were supposed to be, uh, and the washi tape, uh, there was a little bits of gaps that bled through um, the underside, but overall, uh, it works pretty well. And there's nothing nothing quite as fun as peeling the paint off. Um, and if you see at all, I am in my pajamas. Um, you can see that in the corner there. I'm trying to paint early morning where like the lighting is best. This I am painting in the shed. Uh, most of the time I'm painting at my kitchen table because I do not have a space. But because... This was a much larger piece, a lot potentially messier. I am in the shed, <laughs> painting on the pool table. 
I do actually have an easel, but it is broken and I can't prop it up properly. So I am hoping either to fix that or get a new one at some point. Um, but for this, this works just fine. As you can see, there's bits and pieces that have bled through, um, painted too far here and there. Um, so it, I'm, I'm a very messy, slap happy, heavy handed painter, and I, I enjoy it. It works well for the painting that I like to do. I think I've said it before though. Do I like to do that style of painting? Truly, um, or is it just because that one is easier and I don't have to challenge myself? I don't know. This whole thing has been a challenge. Just tackling, just tackling painting again. Um, it's been a long journey to get back here to to be creative again. Um, but I'm really enjoying it so far, and I am super appreciative of everybody who is watching and leaving comments and supporting me. Um, I hope you guys are all having fun on your creative journeys as well. Um, and yeah, if you have any acrylic paint recommendations, please let me know. I really do like the ones that I'm working with. I have no complaints with them. So in this one, it's, I believe, just, I'm using a lot of Joe Sonia paint and the Holcroft, which I believe is an Australian brand. Um, I, yeah, it's, I think it's quite good paint. I've now since got some Reeves paint and I quite like that one as well. Um, like I said, it has a different finish. Uh, so that's been interesting, um, to actually see. I'm aware of it from other people's work, but yeah, no, actually having it myself has been interesting. I know that I can glaze my paintings when I'm done with them if I want them to be, have like a shiny finish. Um, so that is something I could do if I wanted it to all be uniform. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, it is what it is. And I probably noticed that one jumped a bit. I may have paused filming and forgot to put it back on straight away. Uh, I also at one point left the canvas for a while. I had other things to do. So I thought, okay, I'll stop here and left my camera running for an hour and a half. Uh, so the battery was completely dead when I came to it. But uh, yeah, so that footage obviously isn't in here. You don't want to sit at a blank, um, or not a blank, but an, nothing happening for an hour and a half. Um, but yeah, so I'm a bit of a chaotic individual outside of the way I paint as well. It's just sort of how I am. Um, but uh, it no, it's it's been a lot of fun. I do think I that was an Art of Valley, Art of Valley, Art of Valley, Art of Valley, um, paint brand. So uh, there was one other one other paint in here. Um, but either that one does dry matte, or because I mixed it with uh, matte drying paint and made it more matte, because there's no real difference in that one. This one is all a very very matte, matte finish painting, um, which works well enough. For this type, um, I don't know. Do people have preferences on whether their acrylics dry matte or shiny? Um, I mean, I'm sure people do. Uh, why people? Oh, people always have preferences. Um, but I was just so wondering what your preference is. At the moment, I don't really have one. I kind of like both. I think they work well enough for both. Um, whatever you want to do, and yeah. So I don't really have a preference. So I'm just wondering what you guys are if you have a preference um and how you what acrylic paint brands you like how you like to use them um and how many of you paint frequently on canvases um because yeah this has been a uh, fun fun something to come back to um because I did a bit of that work when I was in high school we had to do uh, a whole bunch of different um, paintings, and in our final year, and I think year 11 as well, we had a bunch of different tasks we had to do, and one of them was to paint on canvas, so I painted on a lot of wood canvases, actually, um, not, 
canvas wood boards wood board canvases and not like cotton canvas like this is um though i did do that as well but yeah i actually still have those wood boards um and i painted largely with watercolor so i'm thinking of doing my best to sand it back rinse it down and reuse those boards now that i have discovered them while cleaning up um so that's it's pretty exciting that's something else that i might be able to show you here um is these wood canvases that i have um but yeah so i just peeling off the paint layers um i lost the footage of painting those second bits um and i'm actually joined by i think my mom is with me and so is my brother's girlfriend because everybody likes to watch it when you peel the paint, uh, peel the paint, peel the tape. This one was a bit tricky though. That particular washi tape was not the best. Um, the other ones I have definitely been better, but it's good to know. Um, these, these are some tapes that I've had for ages, so I don't know where I got it from. Um, but in future when I buy them, I'll try and keep track of it. And I probably will get some painter's tape and whatnot. Um, in the future, I'm just using what I have, and washi tape is a little bit cheaper, uh, so it works out a little bit easier, um, but it's annoying when it rips, and I, this is, as I said, a very chaotic video, plus some more footage, I don't even know if I was recording at all, if I thought I had, um, because it was just not there at all, um, um, but yeah, so it's, a sort of a impressionistic style painting. Um, I just wanted to play with different designs. Um, it was it took a while in the process. I started this before Christmas and finished it, I think, the third week of January. Um, mostly because life things happen, um, but also because I was letting things dry and then coming back to it. And then when I would come back to it, I'd be busy with other things. It's a very busy time of year, while also not a lot happening. It sounds strange to say, um, but for me, uh, it typically over that Christmas, New Year, first week of Jan, there is so much to do and nothing to do. I don't even know how to explain it more than that. Um, I wonder if it's the same for other people that live in western countries like mine because i know not everywhere celebrates christmas um so it's can be quite a different thing in different areas nothing changes in some places but where we do celebrate christmas and new years it's probably it's prob i wonder if it's a similar sentiment i don't know um my dad's birthday also falls in that period so that changes things up as well but um yeah it's just a bit of a work like i think i've mentioned in previous videos if anyone's seen it that um the style of the impressionists is one of my favorite styles i love all the different shades of paint working together to make a painting when you get right up close and see the details and there's like like a gazillion colors in a dress that's supposed to be like a pale green but there's pink in it and blue and it's all these things that make up this one dress and it's not the color you expect it to be um i definitely definitely love that sort of style of painting so i'm trying my hand at a very very sort of let's say it's one of your typical basic style um scenes of you know sunset over the ocean it's a classic for a reason uh lots of people paint it because it is beautiful and there are so many colors to put in there um but it's it's a good way to practice um and it was kind of nerve-wracking because i was doing this on a canvas so it made me feel very much like that was you know if I stuff it up, this feels so much more weighty than stuffing up on paper. Though, I, I think you, you 
paint over things, especially on a canvas. Obviously, there's like a limit to how much you can take, but you can. And being acrylic, you know, it's not going to bleed or whatnot um, through. You're not going to have that watercolor issue where it comes through and you can just get muddy colors because you keep layering it. But yeah, that's the finished piece. I'm really, really proud of it. And I don't know if you guys learned anything from this video. It's a bit of a chaotic one, a bit of fun. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!